So we're down at Contact Electrical and I'm here with Lee Edwards from Crabtree and he's got something exciting to show us. What have you got to show us? I've got the uh, the brand new, hot off the uh, press, the arc fault detection device. So uh, with the advent of the uh, 18th edition of the wiring regulations, which is being launched on the 1st of July, uh, Obviously, we don't know what they say because we're in yeah, June at the moment, but yeah. this is what we think yeah. may be included in the 18th edition. And he's going to run through some of the specifications and some of the advantages you're using the one from Crabtree. Right, um, a question for today really is why are we here? Uh, and it's uh, to do with the 18th edition of the wiring regulations, which will be published on the 1st of July 2018. So, a big event for the industry. Uh, some key amendments and additions uh, which directly impact on the specification and supply of consumer units. Uh, inevitably, unfortunately, the recent Grenfell Tower fire uh, and more recently Glasgow uh, with fire uh, uh, incidents of a major um, aspect uh, have, have really sort of uh, contributed to the uh, 18th edition. So uh, there have been government inquiries, reports uh, and investigations, so it probably will drive further changes to the war regulations as we go. But uh, as it stands, this is what we think may be included in the 18th edition and uh, needless to say we have quite a good handle on that because we do contribute. Okay, so that brings us to yeah. the art fault detection yes. that you've brought out. That's it, is it uh, uh, smaller than everybody else? It looks very small compared to some of the other ones I've, I've seen over a small period of time. So as, far, about... yeah, as far as we're aware, uh, we've seen the uh, competition and it's all, you know the good quality competition that are out there, you know, there's some very good companies, but the ones we've seen so far are actually three modules wide. Uh, and they've also combined theirs with an MCB device uh, and the advantage of ours we've actually combined it with an RCBO so it really is a belts and braces solution uh, with RCBO and MCB AFDD protection. Wow so we're talking that that strictly speaking is your miniature RCBO yep. attached to the art fault protection that's that we've got correct. on it and it's only a two modular where everyone else is pretty much three? At the moment yes it is that's correct. And it still works on the basis of using your star it does, breaker yes. design it's so it clips uh, onto the dim rail? It's a great fit because it will fit in, it's a retro fit so any existing board you can fit that in. So, so, so no specialist board? No specialist board. I come down to my electrical wholesalers in this case contact electrical and I can buy one of these now? Yes. Okay can. and how much is the price point that they're going to cost we me? We think around about £120 on the top of my head so that's we, we think around about £120 per uh, unit. And as we obviously integrate them into the 18th edition and the following amendments we can price perhaps fall in as I think as, as sort of history dictates and uh, the natural order of things that uh, when the volumes increase then price has tended to come down over the years but uh, like I said at the moment it's, it's looking at £120 but uh, obviously time, time will tell where that price uh, is driven. Well that's fantastic. Can you explain a little bit about what the arc fault detection is doing for the electrician and the electrical circuit? It is basically the arc fault detection devices uh, really picks up on faults that uh, yeah, are still uh, RCBOs and MCBs can't detect. So uh, typically the main one is crush conductors, loose connections, which again, loose connections, a major impact on household fires. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the stats which I've got on there are quite, uh, quite scary. The amount of fires that are caused by uh, loose connections and crush conductors on appliances. And this arc fault detection system would spot that and cause the device to operate, is that's that correct? correct? That's correct. And it, the good thing about it, the, the intelligent um, software in there, which has been developed by Siemens in Germany, uh, basically enables that device to detect between what we call a good arc fault, which is a standard arc fault, but uh, not sorry, a good arc, which comes from a washing machine or a drill in the normal run of things, because that also generates an arc. Making and breaking a switch. Correct, yes. Yep. Uh, and it, it can, but it also differentiates between a bad arc. So it can actually detect the difference between the two. So it's a really clever bit of kit. It looks as if there's some <coughs> sort of screen here. Yes. What's that going to be telling uh, the customer and the electrician? It's basically telling you the different uh, the state of the arc fault, whether it's running correctly, whether it's tripped, or you know whether it's actually detecting uh, a fault as well. So it's a really good bit of kit. It's got the, when the consumer unit, you'll get the actual label. Which you can just share this. Yep. out. Basically, red is the device operable. Flashing yellow. So red's a good colour. Red's a good colour. And this in this instance okay. red is a good colour. Red's a good colour. Yellow yeah, is does. serial or parallel arc detected. Yep. Half red is over voltage. And then you see red and yellow is self-test failed. So and then obviously no, it is no supply voltage. And are we believing that we're going to be leaving these stuck to the consumer yes, cover? Yes. So that's another stick. I think the consumer is going to have to get big, bigger really for the number of stickers we're going to end up having well, to stick on the, the front uh, of these covers. Well, I mean, it's interesting you should mention that because we, we're sort of talking with the Beamer Council at the moment, all the major manufacturers, uh, ourselves, Siemens, Schneider, Eaton, about the future of the consumer unit. 
because we think uh, long term. I mean, again, it's not nothing, uh, nothing on toward, but we're looking at probably going down to like a bigger units, the two model units like they have on the continent, France, Germany, where it's very much modular devices. Oh right. Wow. So that could well be that's a, a long term uh, initiative. So from 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 a layman's point of view, we've got a overcurrent protection device offered by the circuit breaker, yep. which we've also built in the uh, earth fault protection through the RCBO. RC, yeah, when yep. you can do the RCBO, it's the miniature version. And strictly speaking, what we've done is stuck on the side of there a miniature computer. Basically, yes. It's very clever. Yeah, very complex. Uh, okay, very and, clever. and can see the things you've discussed earlier yeah. in that presentation. I can show you actually the, the uh, technology behind it. Oh, brilliant! Uh, which is uh, will blow your mind. <laughs> that won't be hard. <laughs> <laughs> so. Again, the, the types of arc faults between uh, parallel arcing faults, serial arcing faults, lots of loose connections, again, conductors, where RCBOs typically won't sometimes pick them up in MCBs. Okay. This, this type of technical data and presentation, which looks yes. absolutely fantastic, is that yep. something we can pick up off your website? Or is it, it is okay? at the moment, no, because it's something like it's, it's about a 40 meg download, but it's something at present we can present to you, though. We can okay. present to you. Guys. And do you think they'll sort of have a sort of a card for electricians as a sort of a guide to what we're seeing in this presentation? Yes. A bit yes. like. We are, we are working on that, actually. We, are, we have got um, um, a, a very basic sort of uh, card at the moment about arc fault detection because it's still a bit of a dark art uh, until the, the regs are launched people know a little bit about it but the vast majority of electricians are pretty much in the dark at the moment about it. So Lee has installed a art fault detection unit into a Crabtree consumer unit the Starbreaker design so it easily popped into position and I've asked a few other questions and we're going to go back through those again now. What type of circuits do we believe are going to need the art fault detection installing against? We believe, although subject to confirmation for the 1st of July on the 18th edition, uh, we think it will be uh, more power, sort of uh, final ring, radial circuits, uh, rather than lighting in the first instance, but again that's subject to confirmation, but the, uh, the natural um, sort of home for these is on the power circuits. So pretty much like when RCDs were rolled out across the uh, mainstream that we first of all started yes. off with socket circuits, the same things here. So we've yes. got a 30 milliamp uh, type B circuit breaker and RCBO this side and then the art fault detection system the other side. So That's of course great. it's for a, possibly for a socket circuit. Also suggested why can't we make the, the main switch an art fault detection unit for the entire consumer unit? Is that something that we think we can do? I think the uh, the actual loading actually uh, is probably too high for the actual uh, the uh, Art fault detection device itself. Uh, I think the, the uh, large we can go to is 40 amp at this moment in time, so the actual loading would be too much for it to uh, to take. Uh, also, the possibility of nuisance tripping because there's just too many uh, overall faults for it to to cope with. So you could have probably nuisance tripping. So what we're saying, the accumulation of maybe 10 or yes. 12 circuits having yep. small arc faults on them would mean that a main switch may operate regularly with the accumulated it's effect. It's possible, yes. And also, but actual, I think the loading is a key thing as well because like your standard sort of consumer is 63 amp rated and we can't get that kind of rating in the art fault at this moment in time. So where we've got 100 amp, 63 yes. amp switch, we can't yes. do that at the no, moment. Okay, that's, right. that's brilliant. So we see how easy they fit, we click in as before, but look at the nice tidy unit that we've got as well and we're looking at them possibly only being on circuits for socket outlets at the moment. That's great. So we've got a two unit or two modular unit here. So we've got the overcurrent protection device and RCD here. So we've got effectively a miniature RCBO and then the arc fault detection device here, making it a two modular system. Do we believe that we might get that to a one modular system at some point? Siemens are definitely working on the technology at the moment. Uh, to be fair to them, at the moment we are uh, ahead of our competition who op offer a three module unit. So uh, to have a two module unit we're quite pleased with. But I know the guys in Germany are working very hard to get it into one module and that probably will come and we're probably looking between 12 and 18 months. So about the point of which it's being rolled out mainstream, you're likely to have a single unit. That's what we're hoping for. That's excellent. Well, I think that's been fantastic. A little bit of an overview there of Crabtree's answer to this art fault detection system. And we'd like to thank Crabtree oh, thank you for much. their time. That's okay. brilliant.